remember this? This was on the channel. It's still kind of there, actually. <laughs> A little well, bit. Yeah, it's sort of. But greetings, viewers. It's I, Nick. And Eris. And it's time for us to come back to Kingdom Hearts. Because if you remember, um, me and Cody tried out Kingdom Hearts for the channel, but we never finished it because that because we were like, oh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 is coming out. Might as well wait for that. When did Kingdom Hearts 1.5 come out? Like, a couple years ago. Yeah, just about. So, we never got to it. And also, Cody doesn't like Kingdom Hearts for no, literally no reason. Like, I keep asking him why. He's like, why do you don't like it? He's like, I just don't like it. I'm like, that's not a reason, Cody. Yeah, he, like, it's perfection. This is my childhood right well, here. Well, I'm not talking about that. It's like, just saying you don't like it, that's not a reason. That's like saying, oh, I hate black people cause, just because. Just because, like. Where are you? You racist kingdom hearts? You racist! <laughs> like, it's gotta be something that he doesn't like. The fighting style, or the way it's set up, or it just look too kiddish. I, I don't know. Mm. Oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I, I love Kingdom Hearts. It's my thing. There are many worlds. They share the same sky. One sky. One destiny. destiny. Wait, did they use this in- Yeah, they used yep. this in Kingdom Hearts 2. Exactly. Oh, that's cool. They actually singularly hinted it in that the 2.5 was gonna come out soon. Yes. Kingdom Hearts 1, I mean, well, just Kingdom Hearts the series in general, it's one of my favorite series of all time. Like, it's part of my top five. Which, I, I'm not sure what, it might be bumped to number six because <laughs> of Persona <laughs> recently. But, like, I fucking love this series. Like, mm -hmm. no matter how convoluted it is, like, I'm serious. Dream Drop confused the fuck out of me. I was like, Everyone talked about, oh, Kingdom Hearts is complicated and the story doesn't make sense. I was like, we, I was always like, the fuck are you guys talking about? Just play them in order and it, then it's fine. See, yeah. You'll get it. Yeah, they do retcon some things after every sequel, but like, it's still pretty simple to follow. But then Dream Drop happened, and I was like, okay, I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. Exactly. It's this mind fudge you right in your mind. You don't know what's going on. But you got if, if none of you guys played Kingdom Hearts before, you probably don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because we're not going to play that game to like, forever later. Because, like, that's, like, how many games away? So there's Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain Kingdom of Memories 2, 3, 5, 8, 1, 2, Recoded, Birth by Sleep, 6. So we have we have to play 6 games just to get to fucking Dream Drop. Mm-hmm. Dang, Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> yeah. So that's like CMV will be number seven. So we don't need to worry about that. And any of you does don't just like whatever. So and even all you can see through this um this little cinematic is Kingdom Hearts is a mixture of what if Disney and Final Fantasy had a crossover. Hmm. Oh, it sounds good. an odd and unorthodox um, combination, but it surprisingly worked. At least, and, and the gameplay is actually pretty solid too. But the thing, the games later on, they kind of just like, kind of say, fuck the Disney worlds. They're not that important anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, let's actually get up. Oh, oops, I accidentally pressed the button. It's okay, you were so anxious to play the no, game. No, I was like, we gotta see the whole intro. But like, whatever. So, this is the final mixed version. Yeah. If you, if you don't know, the original Kingdom Hearts, um, this is actually an updated version of Kingdom Hearts 1. Originally in Japan they had Kingdom Hearts 1, then they released Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, which essentially which is, is just a better version of Kingdom Hearts 1. They, it's added more things. It's like the Pokemon Yellow to the Pokemon Red and Blue. Yep, and there's some secret features inside there we have to look for. Yeah. I'm doing everything in this game. Like everything? You mean all the gun trophies? All the, not tro- I'm not- tro fuck trophies. Trophies don't matter. What you said? Like everything? I, I was like, I, oh, everything? I'm, go I'm gonna find all the Dalmatians, I'm gonna find all the Ansem reports, I'm gonna fight every boss in the game. Every single one, even the side bosses. Yeah, even the ones that, yeah, I'm, I'm fighting everything in this game. I'm do like- Sephiroth? Yeah, like, don't spoil it! <laughs> well, 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 well I guess the hardest thing ever, we're man! Not, hey, we're, you don't know if people play this, this ten-year-old game. Actually, it's like more than ten years now. It's like, what, twelve? Twelve, maybe? When did the game come out? It, it came out when I was like ten. Two thousand two, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah. So it did say 2002. It says like 19. Yeah. yeah, 2002. That's when it actually came out. Yeah. Now it's been five minutes. We haven't started the game yet. But like, so originally Kingdom Hearts Final, I mean, Kingdom Hearts only had beginning, medium, and hard mode. Now they added this thing called Proud Mode, which basically, um, 
it's 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 just a harder version of hard mode to be honest. Mm -hmm. Now I usually always play Kingdom Hearts one on hard modes, which on, on hard mode, which I could get through the whole game without dying once and do everything in the game. But when I put try proud mode when they eventually release this here, it's hard. It's hard. It's harder than than normal Kingdom Hearts hard mode. Yeah. So I am still gonna do proud mode, but expect me to die every once in a while. Yes. Uh, uh, Automat, uh, manual, uh, settings, fingers, uh, Let's keep it central. So, like back then, auto. day we did auto, uh, we did manual. Then yeah, we, was like, yeah, manual. Like it, it, like I didn't think the, key, the camera was bad in this game, so yeah. I never, like, it never really bothered me. Yeah, I always gotta keep the vibrations on. Yeah. Feel it. Um. Now, Kingdom Hearts One is actually my favorite in the series. Yeah, I like this more than two, even though everyone loves two so much. I don't care for, like, 2 is, like, alright. To me, like, 2 is good, but it's, like, it's just in the middle of all the Kingdom Hearts games with me, because, like, I like Birth by Sleep and Reach Chain of, Mem I mean, Chain of Memories more than that in Kingdom Hearts 2. Mm-hmm. Me too. But at the same time, 2 is actually was a good one for me, because it was the second Kingdom Hearts game that came out that I played, and afterwards, you actually could do a little bit more moves than the actual, the first one. I think majority of the fan base mostly only just played 1 and 2. Yeah, just about. Weird thoughts. Weird. Weird. Real. Real. Why, Why not? not? Like, is any of this for real? Or not? Um, I forget what's her name who sung the song. But, um... She sings the second one too, doesn't she? Yeah, she sings all the songs no. for the openings. Right. Um, she sings an English version and a Japanese Maybe version. version. Now, um... CG looks pretty good oh. for like PlayStation. This is PlayStation 2 CG. It yeah. looks pretty good. It did. I'm not gonna lie. At first, one I thought was like, "What is that girl doing in the water?" Girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? It, it's uh, it's fun. It's Final Fantasy designs. I guess that kind of makes sense. But if you fucking see actual Final Fantasy characters, you really would think they're girls. Like, fucking Kuja. <laughs> <laughs> like I already knew, like when I first played um Dissidia, because that's the first time I saw Kuja. Yeah. I was like, wait, that's a boy, right? <laughs> like he had woman curves. It don't make no sense. It doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't make. How do you do that? Right. And I thought Anya Knight was a girl too. I'm not gonna lie. I no, I, I knew Anya Knight was a boy. I thought he was a girl. So, like, this opening really has nothing to do with anything, to be honest. It has not even fighting scenes. Like, all the rest of the openings actually have fighting scenes well, besides this one. Well, this is supposed to be... Because they had something to go on from the other ones. Because, like, usually the other Kingdom Hearts openings, they're like, Oh, let's just recap everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. Even though you still don't know what the fuck's going on. Exactly. This one, you just see it's all on phone. Yeah, it just feels like a lucid dream. Which, yeah. that's, this is what it is. It's a dream. Yeah. Going on right now. Um, which song's your favorite out of um, her um, intro songs? Uh, the second one, which she sang from the opening Sanctuary? Series. Yeah, Sanctuary. Yeah, me too. Yeah, this one is good, but I think I like Sanctuary, the English version. The Japanese version would actually be good catchy too. I, I, I like that one. Yeah, I prefer the English version for both. Yeah. Also, Kingdom Hearts was my introduction to Final Fantasy. Oh, really? Yeah. Me too! Was After like, I had Kingdom Hearts, I started to play Final Fantasy. But you already know I played. No, what I mean by introduction to Final Fantasy, it means is I seen Final Fantasy before because my uncle was really into it. Mm -hmm. But like I didn't, I, I didn't pick peak any interest into Final Fantasy until I started playing Kingdom Hearts. That's the reason why. Because like I saw Cloud, he's like, yeah. oh man, that guy looks cool. He has a big sword oh. and everything. He's got a little robotic arm too. I was like, oh, I need to know what game he's from. Man, what's with the Final Fantasy? Man, what's with all the buckles and zippers? <laughs> so much to do. Dude. So little time. time. Take your time. I always don't be afraid. Yeah, I always wondered who the fuck was talking during this um cutscene. But if you play Birth by Sleep. I can't. You kind of get an idea who's talking right now. Yeah, I thought at first when I played it was his conscience. Yeah, I was like, uh, do you know how to walk? I guess. Yeah, and run too. You gotta walk before you run, right? Whoa. Uh, who's this woman? It's uh, Snow White. I don't know. Okay, the power, power sleeps with you. you. If you give it form, it will ha give you strength. 
Now, um, Eris. Yes. What? Now, well, okay, I have to probably explain this before I ask you this question. <laughs> okay, this is how, um, how this works is, you see all these items right here? Mm -hmm. This will see how it affects your stats in the game. Basically, what you gotta do is grab one thing that will boost your stats, and then you have to grab one thing that would minus your stats. Yep. Now, I, I already know what I'm gonna grab, because in proud mode, I always go for shield and take away magic. What? Really? Yeah. I always went for sword. Well, sword... Like, like 90% people that ever played this game will always go for sword. Well, Eris, do you play in hard mode? Yeah, is I play hard mode, and that's why do it was you, so hard for me. Do you not like dying? <laughs> Nick, like, I like the thrill of it. I almost die a lot, but... Yeah, but I, I, I want to get one... Because I want to get once more as quickly as possible. Yeah. That ability. Because once more is like, oh, you cannot die in one hit. Mm -hmm. Which is like the best thing in Kingdom Hearts 2, especially when you have to fight the the refights with the organization. Exactly. But um, uh, yeah. So what you got? I'm gonna just go run through them all, but I'm not gonna grab pick my thing yet. Yeah, we're just gonna see the options of it. So you always pick sword and yeah. took away what? Yeah, it took away um the uh, staff. Yeah, yeah. Everyone takes away staff. Everybody <laughs> take away staff. Fire seek. No. Hop out of it. Because basically, when I first played the game, I was nine years old. I was like, mm, everybody want to go for the sword. I want to go for a sword. I I picked sword on my first playthrough too, until I realized shield just better. Is this the power you seek? Yes, your path has is set. Sweet. I never went for a magic run. I always curious about that because like yeah, what the um one? Yeah, I did it for funsies, and let me tell you, it make you super weak. The um, uh, fucking. I, this is probably like my fifth playthrough of Kingdom Hearts now. Mm. Oh, the power of the mystic, inner strength, the staff of wonder and ruin. Will you give up this power? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Everybody wants to give it up. Because, like, you need to keep your attack good. Because, like, spells are nice, but they're not that great with bosses. Not at all. Unless you find some like Ursula, like um, like the first boss. Well, I mean, like the, the, the I mean the actual super serious bosses. Like, no, yeah. Like some bosses, it will work, but not with everyone. Mm -hmm. You gotta be really high level unless you actually wanted to win like that. Wee. I missed the none of the Kingdom Hearts games do this anymore. Like Kingdom Hearts two, they kind of did something like this, sort of, but more is like what they did is like they just. They just give you um certain buffs to um your things like oh if you pick the fucking attack bonk sword you just get a plus two to your strength yep just right there and there but I'm like whatever yep first time I see the money you actually use this um shield uh, the, you gotta this, whack them it's like this is how I'm supposed to use a shield right yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep you gotta use the two hands crossed it and you're gonna whack them now we can get these weapons later on in the game not for Sora. Yeah, but, but um, for, uh, for certain other characters in the game. Yeah, the characters they're gonna help you out soon. But yeah, I noticed. Uh, I was like, oh, this looks so familiar. I'm gonna give this dude this guy. Yo, what are these things? Let's bonk them. Bonk them. Oh, he's back slapping. Yeah. Now, with every hard mode in Kingdom Hearts, the startup is very hard. But then, as soon as you get more abilities, it starts to ease up. Yeah. Because, like, the hardest part in Kingdom Hearts 2 is, like, the, the rocks is beginning part. You think you, so? Because you have little to no abilities. Oh. But besides the um, triangle button, whatever it does, it does it's the reversal. reversal. Which doesn't work all the time. Oh, I just, like, hit, hit, reversal, hit, hit, reversal, hit, hit, reversal, hit, hit, reversal, and smash. Boring. No, no, it looks pretty cool. No, it's not. It's like you don't finish off the combo because the comp, the ending part, is the one that does the most damage. Yeah, no, no, you finish off the combo. You just have to do it three times, and then the last time you make sure you hit it three times in a row. Then it finish them off. I just do jumps because um, the, I le I learned this from speedrunners, and I kind of learned this from myself. Um, S Roxas and Sora attacks faster if you do the jump attacks. Ah. So just keep jumping at them and attacking, and you'll do more damage. Yeah, I usually do use a jumping attack because I always get hit him on the head, and then follow up, and then do a quick little, little slash around. It always works on the enemies. It's a lot powerful, too. <laughs> the door is not even there, is it? Oh, this is a new thing they added in um, the um, final mix. The triangle button. It's um, yeah. origi originally in Kingdom Hearts 1, 
the way to examine things like open chests or anything, you have to go to the bottom command on the command list. I hated that. To do that. But with this, now you can do this even within battle. I know, right? Even when, like, uh, when you actually open a box. You can open a box when you're still in um, battle mode. Yeah, it's so convenient. Now, because, like, look, you see that command list on to the bottom left? Mm -hmm. You have to use the D-pad to control it. Yep. And during in battle, you're trying to move around and using the stick at the same time and moving your interface is kind of complicated. Because, yeah. like, they're trying to, like, oh, let's make it Final Fantasy, but you got to make it action oriented. So, so we had a command list, which I think it's really cool. Uh, the first time I see him open a chest box with his shears. Now we get the. Oh. You get the push. Oh, you gotta press the stick to a quick turn. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll frame too much of him fucking. Uh, Shimigami Tensei Digital Devil Saga, yeah. where you can just press circle to immediately quick turn. Yeah. And oh, it will drop no. items. What is yeah, it? A potion. potion. Let's and see how you can lock on enemies. Something I already have done already. Let's see how strong you are. Yeah. You have to walk around with it? Oh. Uh, do I? I wasn't paying attention. Yep. Yeah, that's how strong you are, Nikki. That's stupid. <laughs> I've, been, I've been playing this intro so many times, so. Yeah, I have to, but I'm like, whatever. Yeah. I paid it in the double digits, though. And one thing that always bothered me throughout these Kingdom Hearts games is Sora has two models. Mm -hmm. There's the model where his face is expression. It has a, 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 mo like a more expressionist model. Yeah. And then there's the 2D face model. <laughs> Where his eyes are just textures and his mouth. Yeah, I was like, I like the 3D model so much. It's like, it, it's like they, they do that so um, so the game, I guess the game could run better. Oh, really? I thought they were so cheap. Like, oh, then they look like they only have a budget. Okay, so um, if you play Final Fantasy, these characters look familiar, but I'll get into them later. Mm -hmm. Now, here's another thing they, that you have to do to affect your stats in the game. Now, they're gonna these guys are going to ask you a series of questions where basically this sets on how well you're gonna level up throughout the game how i set it up is is i take forever to level up in the beginning but level up fast near the end because that's when you need really need to level up fast mm -hmm. so here's how it works they're gonna ask you a series of questions to get to get the one i'm talking about always pick the bottom answers if you want to just get the middle ground where you kind of just level up normally yeah you pick the middle answers but if you want to level up fast in the beginning but take forever to level up near the end you pick the top ones oh uh, so that's why that's why i level up so quickly so what's more what's the most important to you my prized possessions i are, chose my friendships my are possessions such a big deal oh yeah i love this man so racist just... <laughs> what do you want out of life to, to be, be strong. strong to be strong huh i'm hungry <laughs> what are you afraid of, Nikki? What are you so afraid of? The being indecisive. Is that being really so scary? Is it really so scary? At first, I chose being old. You like to collect neat things. You want to be strong, and you're afraid of what does indecisive mean? Well, you just don't know what you want to do. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> I like to collect neat things. I do want to be strong, but I I am afraid of being indecisive. Your adventure begins the dead of the night. But the road won't be easy, but your but the rising sun awaits your journey's end. Sounds good. Sounds good. The day you open the door is both far off and very near. That does not make any fucking sense. So you're so close to it that you're not close at all, Nick. I'm so close. I can almost taste, taste it. it. <laughs> That's some good ice cream. That was a fucked up joke. Let's, let's be honest here. <laughs> Patrick just licked Sponge... Like, they implied that Patrick just licked Spongebob for no fucking reason. But it was only freaking, like, ice Yeah, cream. but I was like, what the fuck was with that joke? Right? It was like a little pedophile-ish kind of thing. Not pedophile-ish. It's like... It's nasty. It's just weird. It's like, uh, sexual harassment. Welcome, Nikki. They're trying to jump you. Eh. Yo, you hit two of them. Yeah, oh. majority of this game is just bonky things. Just mash the X button, things will happen. Yeah. Enemies get more complicated, so there's more than just bo pressing the bonk button. Mm hmm. But as of now, with these super easy shadows to fight, you just bonk them to their dead. 
Boom! That was the last one. Oh, wait. There's two more. Wait, no, no. Okay. I'm gonna say they always get me with like, oh, you got two more to kill. What? You get your first level up here and with the, with the boss. Yeah. Um, I, I'm gonna try. Well, you can and cannot. I'm gonna try snag a level up. I'll see. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay. Because there's a certain way how you can snag level um, more experience points. At first, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw all those, I thought I had to jump all, all of them. I might fall. So I had to jump every single one of them. Oh, that's my uh, original save. Ninety-nine. Yeah. Ninety. I was like, man, I'm gonna like max out all my levels like I did with my original save, and I was like, nah, fuck it. I already did everything in the game. Whatever. No, that's good. Because um, I only maxed out sword to level hundred like once. Yeah, me too. And on the second one. I can't say I max out anything because I use cheat codes. Well, you kind of have to max them out if you want to go take out the uh, three fights. Yeah. Because um, it's no fun zone if you're gonna put, fight them on um such low levels. Which um, there's a thing called a one level run for Kingdom Hearts games, especially with two. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how can they beat those guys on level one? This makes no sense, right? Which I'm also like, I think that's cool that you can get to the whole game on level one, that the game doesn't like force you to gain experience. But it's kind of weird, right? Well, no, that's it's me, me, but bigger. I must face my shadow, my one true self. I'm not gonna lie, the first one on PS2 was so dark, I could barely see it. Maybe it was her TV. Run right away! Oh yeah, I couldn't see that either. I didn't know I had a heart shape thingy inside of it. Yeah, I could probably see it on my TV. Yeah, now. No, but on the original. On the original? Yeah, I couldn't see nothing. It was just a black shadow. I was okay. like, oh no! Okay, so this, I think this is called Darkness. Uh, I think it's so. I think so, it was called something else. How this works... Okay. You could've hit him. No, no. I'm gonna wait for it. Oh, okay. So, the thing you gotta do is... Uh, fuck it. Get, get up on the head. And just aim at the face, because this thing gives you a thing called tech points. You see right there? Mm -hmm. Tech points essentially is just um, things that will give you level ups faster. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because it gives a tech points counts as experience. Gotcha. I usually use tech points afterwards when we get on the island, but you know what I mean by. Oh, he's losing his power already. Um, come from the back, and you can attack from the back to get tech points. Ah. If you, um, the back aim properly. You see right here. Yeah. He's gotta get close to it though. Yep. Got it. So it gotta level up because of the tech points. So I counted it was like at least 14. You can switch what you want to lock on with I think the L2 button? Or, oh no, it's the it's the yeah, L2. Oh, uh, I thought it was R2. Gotta get that going. Oh, really? By this time, with the sword, he would have been dead. Oh, I see well, why you choose shield. You know, you gotta, you gotta keep on those tech points. Yeah? Get that free experience. And that's the thing I hate that the other Kingdom Hearts games don't come back to. It was like, tech points were cool. Reward for getting, for doing good at a game? Wow, that's amazing. Because <laughs> I love, like, like, if you do well, you get better rewards. But, like, they don't do that anymore. I'm just like, oh, okay. You lock it onto his arm. Yeah, I know. Oh, you blocked it. Yeah, more tech points. Yeah, yeah. my defense goes up and I got more max items. Do a cool wha whack. You could That's why I missed back in, like, on se the second one. The second one doesn't go in slow motion. It kind of does that. Oh! But don't be afraid. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. The Bonk Shield. Don't be afraid to use the Bonk! So don't forget. Okay, this is an out of context thing that now just came to You're mind. The one who will open the door. Um, Eris, you know, like, when you play fighting games, mm -hmm. why do you say so you can? So you can. 
It's show you can. No, no, I say so you can. But it's show you can. It's S H errors. I know. You just skip the H and just say so you can. Yeah. It bothers the hell out of me. No, no, no. It's my kid thing because my first, I didn't know what they were saying, like back in my old days when I was a kid. But I would say so you can. But it's sure you can. I know it's sure you can. Or right, sure you can. Yeah, sure you can. But Ken's move is um start with an S. It's Senyukin. 